Hey guys, it's me, Morgan. I'm about to turn 40 years old. It's Saturday, I'm gonna turn 40 on Wednesday, so in five days. And I'm gonna do something cool. And it's gonna impact the channel quite a bit. As you know, the channel is about becoming a better investor. And now it's going to be about remote work, living as a digital nomad, and I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm going to combine a bunch of things to make the most out of everything that you've seen so far. I'm gonna put it into practice and it's all gonna to come together beautifully. Uh, and I'm flying out in a very short amount of time. I'm going to Japan first. And the point of the trip is, of course, to have fun for my birthday, but also to explore Japan as a viable option if you want to be a digital nomad and you want to work from there for a little while, or if you would like to set up your base there. What does that mean in terms of taxes? Like where should you work from? Internet cafes, is the, is the Wi-Fi good? Are there communities that you can become a part of? All that stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, some exploration around that. And uh, I'm pumped about it. Uh, I don't know exactly how long I'm going to go away for. I'm going to travel for a little bit and it's my treat for myself. Plus at the same time, I believe I can maximize the content production while I'm abroad because, you know, we're living in a world now where more and more people are looking to explore their opportunities to work from another place. You don't actually have to, well, let me preface this by saying, there are more and more jobs that are location independent. Maybe you are in such a position where you can, you can find that kind of work, where you can produce something while you're moving. Or maybe you just want to set up a base in a warm climate or a different country that, that has something you're interested in. So I'm going to explore that lifestyle more. Um, I have done it some, like a little bit in the past. For me, I find it challenging if I move around too much. Too much travel is not really a viable option for me. If I stay for, let's say, four days in Spain, I think it's difficult to readjust quickly and still maintain production. But if I'm spending more, like, more than a couple of weeks in one location, then I might be able to or not might be, I am more able to produce and get in the zone of things. So yeah, so the point is I'm going to Japan, I'm going to explore, have fun, and uh, take you along with me so you get to see this freak show of a country which I love more than any other country. It's my favorite vacation destination. This time I'm going for work though, so it's going to be a little bit of a different vibe. I'm not going to be doing a lot of touristy stuff, only a little bit, um, but I'm going to show you what it's like. So that's going to be so cool. And after that, I'm going to another country. And uh, if I feel like it, I'm going to keep going for a little while and uh, probably spend the summer exploring the different countries and, um, and, and see if it's going to be good or not. And um, I think it's going to be value valuable for you guys to follow along. I know that there's a lot of you that are looking to change things up a little bit. Get some sunshine. I come from Norway. It's dark. It, it's cold in the winter and in, the winter is long. I've lived a lot of my years abroad, almost 15 years abroad. Uh, eight of them were in Dubai and um, Dubai is certainly very different to Norway. After 15 years, all of them, while I've been an adult, I've been, like most of my adult life, I've been in different countries uh, or other countries than where I'm from. And I'm, I'm feeling the need to change things up a little bit. So, yeah, I think it's going to be cool. I'm going to show you some stuff around what that lifestyle could be like. You know, where do you stay? What kind of food should you eat? How do you maintain some routine? Um, like I, 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 this winter, this is a little bit embarrassing, 
But this winter, I've put on quite a bit of weight. I've put on like eight kilos or something like that. And I want to get rid of those. I want to get fit again, so I want to start to exercise. I used to be good, but you know how life goes, you know? You have this thing going and suddenly attention is diverted over to something else. Anyways, I'm going to get to doing that uh, as well, getting more into shape. And one more thing that you might be interested in hearing, I'm going to do all of this from just a 39 liter backpack, just a regular backpack. And that includes all my stuff, my clothes, my camera gear, my computer, everything, everything, everything. So this tiny little bag, it's going to be about this big. And um, yeah, that's it. It's going to be 12 kilos of stuff and I'm going to travel indefinitely. I'm going to come back. I don't know when, but um, uh, I think it's going to be a couple of months, maybe, you know, in the summer. Norway is amazing, but I just need to try something else. And it, it's, it fits perfectly with the launch of these new websites that we're starting. I told you guys about moosrider.com. It's not finished as I'm making this video, but it's only a couple of weeks away, maybe three weeks away. Moosrider.com is a community for digital nomads. How do you become one? Where do you find your friends and colleagues? Do you have any people you need to hire? Are you looking for work? Um, like all everything to do with working remotely or being on the go as you work. If you're already one or if you want to become one, this is going to be your number one resource for that type of lifestyle. I'm going to make a lot of content for Moose Rider as I'm moving around. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you definitely want to do that now. And um, we also have a website called Swaypad. Now, this website is designed, it's not ready, it's same, same like Moose Rider, it's being produced right now. And it's going to be re released at the same time. Uh, Swaypad.com is going to be about how do you become uh, an influencer, which is a viable option for remote work in a lot of cases, as long as you have a camera or a powerful mobile phone. Most Apple phones these days are certainly good enough. Um, but if you want to produce high level content, you need a camera, a camera, computer, a phone. If you have that, you can essentially learn to become a content producer. And what kind of gear should you get? How do you approach clients? How do you negotiate? How do you, well, everything to do with becoming a better influencer. If you're already an influencer and looking to branch out, look for people to share your clout with, um, do some cross um, production of content, share audiences and tips. And I mean, it's a, lot, it's a, it's a strange lifestyle. <laughs> a lot of people can't relate to this. So having someone to bond with, I think it's really important and really cool. Um, maybe you can find a travel partner too if you're traveling. So these two websites, they, they, um, they kind of fit together quite nicely. They are separate, um, but the content will be produced for, for both on this channel. And then there's the third website, which is the final one, which is called Margin Squeeze. Margin Squeeze is about how do you become better with your finances, your economy, how do you become a better investor, how do you analyze deals, negotiate, how do you find your first property? How do you find your second one? What if the bank says no? What do you do then? How do you structure up a business partnership? How do you raise capital? How do you build a stock portfolio? All of that stuff. Um, I'm making videos about that as well as we go along. And, and the content for all these websites will be shared on this website. Uh, or sorry, on this channel. So you want to make sure that you're followed or subscribed if you haven't already. I think it's going to be a very good investment of your time. So yeah, it's about to take off. Um, I'm about to take off. And uh, it's, the, um, it's the last couple of days before uh, departure. It's going to be cool. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on my birthday yet, but uh, I think it's going to be something related to Japanese food, uh, which is my favorite. And um, yeah. I think 
think that's it. I hope you guys are excited about what's coming. These websites are gonna be amazing. And uh, I'm gonna post a lot about them once they're ready. So with that, I'm gonna say sayonara and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.